This is 1983p Jefferson Nickel in uncirculated condition. PCGS graded this coin as MS66 plus full steps. The 1983p Jefferson Nickel is relatively common in lower mean state grades, but finding it with a full steps designation is much harder. The full steps term refers to the sharpness of the steps on Monticello, the building on the reverse side of the coin. For a coin to earn the FS designation, all six steps of Monticello must be fully visible without any major nicks or interruptions. Coins with this designation are highly sought after by collectors because they indicate a higher quality strike. Despite being classified as modern issue and boasting a high nine-figure mintage, the 1983p Jefferson Nickel still managed to be scarce with full steps sharpness. PCGS reports only 88 full steps coins in all grades. This plus graded premium gem is a condition census. Brilliant satiny surfaces yield excellent preservation with undeniable sharp detail in the center. It was sold for $3,840 on August 12th, 2024. Next, here we have proof 1936 Lincoln cent for Novice, who recently started collecting coins. A proof coin is a special type of coin produced with a higher standard of quality and detail compared to a circulation struck coin. Proof coins are made specifically for collectors and are not intended for general circulation. After short lived mud proofs of 1909 to 1916 and the one of satin finish in early 1936, the mint finally resumed. The use of polish proof dies in late 1936 for the familiar mirrored appearance. This high-end example is condition rarity tied for the finest red example at NGC as of August 2024. This outstanding specimen was graded as PR67 red by PCGS. Glimmering copper orange fields produce a familiar mirror-like reflectivity that is hallmark of the brilliant finish. It ended up selling for $7,200. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to hold a truly extraordinary error coin in your hands? Well, that's exactly what we're diving in today. Many of you clicked on this video to get acquainted with this incredible bad boy, a rare and super valuable error coin that recently changed hands at heritage auctions for a jaw-dropping amount. Introducing the 2005 Sakagavia dollar, struck on a nickel planchet. Yes, you heard that right, the Sakagavia dollar struck on the wrong planchet and it is one of the rarest out there. This stunning piece graded Mint State 64 by Enix is an absolute marvel. The 2000p Sakagavia dollars were minted exclusively for collectors, making any wrong planchet examples incredibly scarce. This particular coin was struck at 430 clock position, flush against the color die, preserving a bold date on mint mark. Sakagavi and the baby are fully visible as a majestic eagle save for the tip of its back wing. But what truly sets this coin apart are its well-preserved surfaces beautifully toned in sea green, russet brown and steel grey shades, the, king, the kind of toning that collectors dream about. And here is the kicker, this remarkable piece sold for a staggering $24,000 on August 16, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1934 Washington Quarter, representing sought-after variety known as Light Model, graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. In Godwood Trust is weakly entered in the die on the Light Model variety, appearing somewhat fuzzy on the current coin, which has vibrant frost luster shimmering across each side. Light Model coins are somewhat scarcer than the medium model pieces, though not as elusive as heavy model coins. A bold strike and subtle iridescent color complete the eye appeal of this remarkable example, which is tied for finest certified at PCGS. It ended up selling for $3,300 on August 12, 2024. This is 1934 SP dollar graded in Mint State 64. The 1934 S is the scarcest piece dollar in Mint State overall, with MS64 coins being among the finer examples usually available. This near gem coin is well struck and displays the faintest tinge of champagne color across satiny silver mint luster. Minor reverse luster grazes apparently prevent a full gem classification. It was sold for $6,300 on August 28, 2024. Here is 1954 the Franklin half dollar 
really didn't mean state 67, FBL by PCGS. FBL stands for full bell lines that indicates a fully struck motifs on the backside of the coin, bell lines in particular. This demo ratio is among the better struck dates in the series from a branch mint and is more often seen with full bell lines than without. Also, the majority of set coins grade no finer than MS65. At super gem level, the 1950-40 Franklin of dollar is rare. This piece is tied for the finest certified glistening satiny mint luster passes this coin in luminous champagne gold warps, while pronounced sharpness characterizes the devices. A loop fails to find a notable abrasions. For the registry collector, this coin is about as good as it gets for the 1954 D issue. It ended up selling for $4,920. And this is 1964 Kennedy of dollar, graded in mint state 67 plus by NGC. The 1964 being the only Kennedy of dollar year when the coin was produced in the old 90% silver alloy is in high demand as a type coin. A few hundred coins are certified in MS67, but NGC reports only 26 coins in MS67+, plus with three numerically finer. This piece is sharp, frosty, and brilliant with outstanding preservation. It was sold for $2,040 on August 12, 2024. And there you have it, 8 rare and valuable US coins that sold for big money at heritage auctions, each with unique story and incredible value. These remarkable pieces are testament to how a keen eye and a bit of numismatic knowledge can uncover the true treasures. So keep looking, keep learning, and who knows, maybe one day you'll have your own coin up for auction. Thanks for watching, and God's willing, see you in the next video.